Looking at software and looking at common applications found in business, commerce and industry here, uh, we're looking at the features of these uh, particular pieces of software, some, some of which you might know something about, you may have used, and some of which you may have heard the names of, and some of which you may not know at all. But this is really to uh, cement your knowledge and really to get you used to the, the uh, things you should know in order to answer the questions. So let's concentrate on stock control systems. That really is a good summary of the notes you've been given in the syllabus course text. Um, stock control systems, there's the bare minimum of what they do, keeping track of stock, recording levels of stock and managing orders for stock. They don't necessarily do all of them, it's just what you would typically find in stock control systems. Some are smaller than that and some do all of that and perhaps a little bit more. So if we look at um, what stock control systems can do, uh, the first thing we say is that a stock control program can keep details of the individual items that the organization holds in stock. So these would be um, actual relevant uh, pieces of data on those items. And then number two, we say that it can uh, a stock control program can keep details related to the product, so related to the item, but not actual um, details on the item. So for instance supplier details in other words where you got the actual item from um, that will be kept but that's not details actually about that item because that can change uh, these are related um, pieces of um, information uh, such that related parts if you had um, a particular piece of stock and then it had related parts that that went into that or spare parts that made up that then that might be detailed with it as well and stock control programs can also to do, be to do with the use of goods and the best example of that is when you're hiring something out um, hiring out a piece of machinery for instance so some of the details you'll need to keep on that will be kept in a stock by a stock control program and they would not be details about the actual product neither would they be uh, what we classified in the last one about related to the product they'd be a little bit different because these would be to do with the use of the actual product or the goods in this case we call it but really, um, when we're looking at stock control programs, the majority nowadays, especially when you think of like warehouses and that kind of thing, um, they deal with order processing. Order processing is defined as to keep details of stock levels and manage the order or reorder of stock. And that graph there really does give you um, a clear example of exactly what happens in this fourth section on stock control programs. But there are other systems which are covered in this particular look at business industry and commerce payroll systems they're worth knowing about because payroll systems are really there to um, to process workers pay calculate workers pay you can also call that wages or salaries so to process workers pay in an organization is a good definition um, but typical retail and business systems you'll also uh, need to know about or need to be able to define or talk about the features are um, point of sale systems um, obviously if you go into any supermarket or shop in fact any any shop at all now even corner shops have point of sale systems they identify purchase at the input and they typically carry out pro processing in other words they'll minus the amount purchased from the stock level that's why even corner shops have them now really and then the output um, will be the dealing with the payment but it can also be producing the receipt calculating the whole bill that kind of thing and um, don't forget they might not all do this all of the things but they'll do some of the things but there's a, a good summary of those things marketing systems also come under this as well and that can be something as simple as a desktop publishing package a web design package and then uh, things like database mail merging systems come under that as well and lastly you need to be aware of CAD CAM if you don't know what CAD CAM is CAD being um, computer aided design and CAM being computer aided manufacture now CAM usually sits with CAD, but CAD can be bought on its own. So really we're looking at CAD in designing a commodity. So CAD's the design product and then, then the manufacture of it. And, and we define that as a CAM is to manufacture the design created by a CAD system. Simple as that. And they're used really in industrial systems.